Hello, N4H and H here. I want to talk about contour, but before, while I've got the station still there, I'm going to go straight to it. There's a guy out there talking. Now, this is that situation where you got a rare DX station, you're trying to get your call sign, I mean, uh, his call sign, or you're trying to get your signal report. First level of defense I'm going to here is digital noise reduction. Okay. You know me, if you've watched my previous videos, I usually leave that on anyway. And I'm usually set between five and seven, sometimes four. But I'm, you know, I've got a, a high noise floor right now. I mean, not too terribly high. Let me let you look at the S meter, but, but you know, there's some ground noise in there. So he's, he's bumping about three and a half S units, okay? So let me get back over here so you can see the DSP. And so I'll go up to seven. Now I'm going to kick in contour. Somewhere between 1700 and 2300 is a sweet spot for the human voice uh, where you can, you know, uh, hear a little more intelligibility. Now, you got two schools of thought on the, using Contour. You can use Yesu's default, which let me show you what it is. Uh, menu 114 here on the on the uh, FTDX 5000. And other Yesu radios have the uh, Contour features as well, and even other brands of radios. And it's all a very similar function. What it amounts to, it's a parametric equalizer. And you get to set the width here from narrow, listen to the noise, to wide. So it's affecting a wider range of frequencies or a narrow range of frequencies. And then the default here is 10. And then for the level, Yesu's default is negative 15. You could boost or cut. Now what I find is I attack noise from the front end of the receiver in. You've seen my videos before where I talk about forget the S meter, right? So let me, let me turn this off and Hopefully he'll come back in here. I've got some power line noise too. Hear that? Um, power company's coming tomorrow to take a look at that, but uh, for now I'm having to use the noise uh, noise blanker. And um, where'd this guy go? So I'm gonna go to IP01, knock that noise floor down from the antenna in. Well, while I wait to see if he comes back, let me go into the menu and show you that I like to change the width down to about eight. I find that's a good compromise uh, where it restores a little bit of the fidelity, a little bit of the, the highs. I know you're thinking, well, I'm hearing more noise. Well, that's the problem is that area around 2000 hertz plus or minus where we can get you know, intelligibility out of the human voice also drags in a lot of noise, which is why I prefer to cut instead of boost. Uh, but some people use their contour as a boost. Like I said, Yesu out of the box has it set to cut negative 15. I'm going to put it on eight though, instead of the factory, uh, the width, I'm going to put it on eight instead of the factory default of 10. And let me jump out of here. You can see here it's scooping. We call that a scoop. Okay, there he is. Now, IPO off. I mean, <laughs> this guy is very weak out there. Right in the noise floor. So, again, noise reduction. I'm going to run it at 5. And the reason is, let me just say, the contour is going to cut some of the high end out. So, I'm not going to run this all the way up even though it'll cut a lot of noise out. And, and by the way, this 5,000 will never sound watery. All it does is get rid of noise. Much above 10 on the digital noise reduction, and it will cut highs. So I'm going to run it at around 5 here, about, about 5.
and then kick in contour. And you see there's that sweet spot. Sometimes I go a little plus or minus. Everybody's voice is a little different. My hearing's different. You may prefer boosting. We'll get to that in a minute. I find it better to knock the noise down. I'll tell you why. If, you, if you've if you seen my videos, even uh, like what I did a while ago, going to IP01. There he is. Attack the noise in the front end of the receiver first. The more you push the noise down, the next thing you're left with is the person you're trying to listen to. Yes, they may be S0, but you can hear them. Now I'm going to go over here and uh, let me pan a little bit so you can see. I'm going to go to IP01. I could have used an attenuator, but that, that was enough. Now back over to DSP. So when he comes back in, we'll do a little more with it. So again, right now, the only thing I've done is I've changed the factory default width to eight, but I have the factory default level of negative 15 uh, cut, negative 15 dB of, of uh, cut. So let's see here. All right, there he is. So without contour. And so if he's rare DX and I'm trying to get my signal report, I'm not worried about fidelity. I just want to be able to get his syllables, you know? And so I'll kick that contour in. Now, while we wait on him, Another school of thought is to boost with contour this region of intelligibility rather than cutting. And so basically what you do, I've still got my width set at eight. Some will recommend to go to a, a boost of 10 dB. Now let's get out of this. You can see here how the shape changed. It's no longer a scoop, it's a bump. So now we're accentuating that 2000-ish you know, plus or minus, like I said, 1,700 to 2,300. So now we're boosting that. And let's see what happens when he comes back. Turn the volume down a little bit. Like I said, two schools of thought on this. I figure the way Yesu fix, uh, ships the radio with the defaults, um, you know, they must have something up their sleeve, so to speak. But um, like I said, I did prefer running the noise reduction a little bit lower and then um, therefore I'm um, doing an eight on the filter width um, uh, for the for the for the contour because um, well I'm boosting now but a negative 15 cut with it up on 10 really knocks down some of the highs. So by running the no digital noise reduction a little bit lower, look, it's like my vi other videos show you. You combine different features. There's no one magic feature. So, you know, what you, you got to balance these two out between what you're going to do with digital noise reduction and what you're going to do with, um, with the uh, contour. So, again, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll go back to my favorite here. Go back down to Yesu's negative 15. See, I'd rather hear him dulled out a little bit but be able to tell what he's saying than listen to that. There he is. All, than hear all that noise. All right, so I'm. Oh, come on. <laughs> he's not long winded enough. Oh, this other guy is coming up. He's S2. Uh, but, I mean. See, oh, he's S zero. So, back to digital noise reduction. Now, so let's see what happens when I do the boost. Width at eight. Very, very shrill sounding. Now, if you do the boost, oh, wait, wait, wait. What are we 
you can get away with going up here even maximum on digital noise reduction because you're now forcing the highs back in there by doing the boost. So it's a matter of personal preference, I guess. Um, I tend to want to cut things rather than boost because boost tends to add noise. I mean, there's what he sounds like. Digital noise reduction at 15 and we're boosting with contour. Now when it comes back, I'm going to put it back to factory defaults with a lower level of digital noise reduction. But again, you can hit this Yesu digital noise reduction with full, uh, here he is, with full noise and it won't sound watery. Okay, going back to digital noise reduction of five, back into the menu. Leave the level on eight. But I mean, I showed you a while ago what these people sound like. They're down at the noise floor. When you get all of this uh, out of the equation here, it gets pretty, pretty gnarly sounding. No contour. See, there he is. Digital noise reduction at five. Contour at 2000. So there we go. Now I'm gonna do the boost. Hopefully he'll keep talking. So there's digital noise reduction at 15, boosting by 10 with a width of 8. It sounds sort of shrill. It's just not pleasant. Now, you, you could go in here and... We could go into the menu and narrow this width to try to focus more narrowly, narrow, more narrow on the that vocal range. You can tell the filter is more narrow. Take it all the way down to one. So we're just affecting a, uh, uh, you know, a narrow bandwidth, if you will, here in the audio spectrum. Well, well first of all, Larry, uh, that was, uh, that's Mike Alpha Alpha 7. Okay, so while he's talking, I'm going to wind it back out. So that's boost. Now, let's go back to cut. Now remember, I've got my digital noise reduction. It was on nine there. Gonna come back down to five. So to me, that's a little more pleasant to listen to, but that's my ears. Your ears may be different. Um, so I'll leave that determination up to you. Uh, so I hope you found the video helpful and informative. Thank you, Patreons, for helping me keep the channel going. And uh, another great thing that you can do to help out the channel is subscribe. And uh, you will be notified when I post another video. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, watching the video. And I want to say 73 to you from N4 H&H. &H.